Have you ever wondered if you'll get a performance boost if you disable Windows Defender? I know it sounds a little bit crazy, considering that you got security issues and all that, but at the same time, it is quite alluring to get a little bit more performance, especially if you don't have the most jacked up system. So that is why in today's video, I'll be testing gaming performance when you have Windows Defender enabled versus Windows Defender disabled. So I'm going to go to my benchmark results now, but what I want to say is if you gaming on integrated graphics or you are playing a lot of online games or playing games that are very CPU heavy, you'll see anywhere between 5 to 10% boost in performance. However, if you're playing games, single player games that are GPU bound, you're not really going to see much of a difference. But any CPU heavy games, online games where there's a lot of calculations to be done and if you're gaming on integrated graphics turning off Windows Defender is going to give you a nice little boost in performance. Anyways, enough of me talking, let me get to my results. So all my games are tested at medium settings where FSR 2.0 or 2.1 is available I use the quality setting. Um, and then I te my testing was done on the latest NVIDIA driver 528.24. So with Windows Defender off, um, I added up all my average FPS's and then I got a total FPS over 9 games of 619.33 and then when I divided that by 9, I got an average FPS per game of 68.81. And then for the same thing, what I did is I added up all the 1% lows and then I got a total 1% lows of 466.78. And that gave me an average 1% low per game of 51.86. So that is 75.36% in terms of stability. Now this is with Windows Defender off. So when I switch Windows Defender back on, I added up all my average FPS's and I got a total FPS over 9 games of 614.06. So you can see there's already uh, a decrease uh, when you have Windows Defender on by 5 FPS over 9 games. And then my average, average FPS per game was 68.23. So over those 9 games, um, I'm getting an average of 0 0.5, 0 0.6 FPS higher by having Windows Defender disabled. And then um, for my 1% lows, added up all my 1% lows, got a, um, a total of 458.49 one percent lows over nine games. And as you can see, that's eight higher or eight lower than um, when Windows Defender is off. So then when I divide that by nine, I get 50.94 average 1% lows. So you can see it's already quite a bit lower then um, with Windows Defender off. And then in terms of stability, because my 1% lows are, are quite a bit lower, I'm not so worried about my average FPS, but my 1% lower, 1% lows are quite a bit lower. The stability with Windows Defender on is 74.66%. So guys, just to reiterate, with Windows Defender off, you're gonna see a, I'd say probably between five to 10% boost in performance. If you're playing online shooter games, because obviously you've got a lot of calculations uh, in there. If you're playing CPU heavy games, or if you're gaming on integrated graphics, um, with Windows Defender off, you'll get between five to 10% performance boost. But if you're playing mainly single player GPU bound, heavy, uh, GPU bound games, you're not really gonna see much of a performance boost, but there is a definite uplift in performance when you do switch Windows Defender off. So if you are very worried about security, um, I'm going to show you a method now that you can use um, where you can switch off Windows Defender and then when you want to re-enable Windows Defender, all you have to do is just uh, toggle a switch and then restart your computer. So uh, it's quite simple. So first and foremost, let me just close here quickly. If you want to switch off Windows Defender, what you do is you uh, press the Windows key and R and you just type in regedit. And then what you do is you go computer 
HQ local machine. Soft. Ugh, let me just go to the top and show you. So it's computer. HQ local machine. Software. You're going to click on software. And then you go to policies. And then you go to Windows Defender. And then you create a new key called SpyNet. And in SpyNet, you create a new DWORD 32 bit value and you rename it SpyNet Reporting. So the S is a capital, the N is a capital, and the R is a capital. And then you modify it and you give it a value of 3. Restart your computer and Windows Defender will be completely disabled. And then when, um, when you want to switch this off again, what you do is you modify it, give it a value of zero, and then restart your computer and Windows Defender will be um, on again. So guys, there you have it. Uh, just a, like a little fun exercise to see if Windows Defender on versus off actually does affect performance. Yet again, if you're on integrated graphics, or you're playing CPU heavy games, or you're playing online shooter games, I highly recommend if you want to see a little boost in performance, go and disable Windows Defender and then you can re-enable it later or once you finish your gaming session. In fact, what I'll do is I'll link a video where all these steps are laid out nicely for you and then you can just follow that video. And like I said, guys, you can re-enable it once you finish your gaming session. But guys, if you watched the, uh, this video so far and you haven't subscribed just yet, please be so kind as to smash that subscribe button. If you enjoyed this content, please smash that like button. But more importantly, if it's the weekend, it's Saturday, have a great day. It's people like you. Cheers.